Tony, thanks. First real break of winter today meant road work back in action. Melanie Gillespie caught up with PennDOT and some local road crews that were patching up potholes today. Mel, how bad is it? <laughs> Marty, this is what drivers talk about come springtime, and we're just about there. Penned on local road crews say as long as this weather holds out, the most hazardous potholes will be a priority this week. It's the sound of spring. Shovels scraping. As PennDOT workers ditched the plows and spent the first break of winter weather patching potholes. We're playing catch up from things that haven't been done because of the snow in terms of potholes. PennDOT says the harsh winter takes a beating on the roads. Not so much the snow, but with every freeze and thaw. Water's the enemy when it comes to road surfaces. So the water will get down in a crack, um, it freezes expands the crack out, then it thaws out, that expansion opens up. Forming potholes. We caught up with Penn Dunk crews filling cavities on the Bedford Street ramp in Johnstown with a temporary fix called cold patch. And it's pliable material that we can use this time of the year. Um, we can't make permanent repairs until we can get hot mix asphalt. But PennDOT's not alone. Johnstown Public Works hit the streets this afternoon. Uh, our prime objective was to be out on the roads that are most traveled, the most heavily traveled, um, the main art arteries into the city. And well, we had some big ones out there. Workers armed with shovels tended to potholes and box them, but the sweet sound of scraping pavement That's good. may not mean the end of old man winter just yet. Everybody's uh, happy that winter maybe has, has maybe turned its ugly head. So you don't think that spring is officially here yet? I'm not betting on it. We won't see those permanent fixes until about mid-April when they can put that hot material down on the roads. But PennDOT says if you do see a dangerous pothole on a state road, you can call 1-800-FIX-ROAD. Reporting live, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.